we're at the airport, we're off to Philadelphia today. We're at Heathrow Terminal 5. It is 10.52 a.m. We've been on the road since about seven o'clock this morning. It took about three hours to get to Heathrow, which wasn't too bad. It's been a busy day in traffic, Monday morning. But we're, we're gonna wait now for our gate to be announced and then we're off to Philadelphia. Check into our hotel later on today. It takes about eight hours to get there, seven and a half hours. Um, and we're gonna give him a bit of a cab journey. Do you mind trying to do a vlog? Um, yeah, we're off, me and him. Off for a week to Philadelphia. Mind fair at the weekend. Lots of sound, lots of planning, lots of work to do. So we'll, uh, we're taking you guys on the way along with us. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you soon. So we have just arrived at the hotel in Philadelphia. It's been a long day. We have been on the road now for about 14 hours from my door to the hotel room. Um, but we've got a busy week ahead. We're gonna get some food now um, and have a rest ready for tomorrow when the preparation starts for Mind Fair. So we will see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, it's day one in Philadelphia, or morning of day two if you want to be pedantic. It is 7.22 in the morning, we've been up, oh god it's a strange boy, um, yeah it's 7.22 in the morning, we've been up for, well, I've been awake since 2 o'clock this morning because of the time difference, the body clock things all weird, hopefully that will change over the next couple of days, but today we're having early breakfast, we're heading off in an hour or so to the expo centre where Mind Fair is taking place. We've got lots of planning to do over the next three or four days to get everything ready, everything fine-tuned. So when the guys come, if you've come to Mind Fair in the past, because this is now after Mind Fair's happened, if you've enjoyed Mind Fair, you've been, you'd have seen what we had to offer and hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, this part of it's the planning stage. We're going to go to the Expo Centre, have a look around, meet the guys that are organising it from, uh, the actual guys from Mind Fair. And um, yeah, and then hopefully we've got some free time this afternoon. We're going to have a wander around the town and see what things are on offer. So we've had a busy day, this is Friday, setting up Mind Fair for tomorrow and for Sunday we've got our Mind Venture stage now all done, the main stage is looking lovely, I'll go and take you over towards the main stage, the main stage is looking fantastic, our stage is quite good, we've got 300 chairs, there's Dr Creeper, there's other nondescript Irish person, um, we've, got, yeah, we've got 300 chairs there in that area there, 
Um, but here we have a lot of chairs. I think there's about 1,500 to 2,000 chairs in this main stage. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can uh, you can see this now and you can have a look. I don't know if you can see it perfectly. I'm hoping you can. There is the main stage. Here in the front, we've got the queuing area for the signings. There's three signing stages, one, two, and three. I think I'm on this one here at some point, this one right here at some point. But there is the main stage. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. You can see just how cool that main stage looks. It looks absolutely brilliant. Technical issue, oh, technical issue. Good time to show it. But there, yeah, that is the main stage. And there are about 1,500-ish seats there for the main stage. So if, um, yeah, if you guys want to, if you are coming to this event, you'd have seen what it's like. You'd have seen how big it was, how busy it was. It's going to be a good day. So we will see you hopefully tomorrow when the event is on. See, half of you don't know who the Prime Minister of the UK is, but they know every last sub that they have. <laughs> it's like to the like 30 seconds moving. <laughs> Would you guys do um, collabs with people who you wouldn't normally do collabs with if people asked you to? Yeah, I think like the guys have said, I think recording with new people will open up your your channel to an audience that maybe have never seen you or heard of you before. So it's always a good idea to do if you can. Um, and that's the way most of us will, will have grown, by collaborating with other people and it just brings brings new people to you, which is a good, good thing to do. This is for all of you. Um, what video had the most views? Uh, mine's just one of an episode of a series I did with Squid um, a few years back now. Just one of those episodes that kind of became popular. Um, quite a few of them that do well, but that one's done particularly well. Um, so yeah, that's my, my... Oh, actually no, it's a lie, it's not now. My 10,000 subscriber video is now my biggest one. That's overtaken it recently. That's, uh, that's just become my newest video, which is quite a long while ago now. Um, what is the most epicest thing you ever did in Minecraft? Ep most epic thing? Uh, on again on Crazy Craft like Tom's was um, and myself and Solidarity we built a, a huge water park and every episode we built something new and after like 30 episodes it became quite a large built area that we built on and that was quite good fun it was all done in survival um, and it was, it was quite enjoyable to do so that was probably mine This is for all of you who inspired you to start YouTube? I've been asked this question a lot of times to. Um, this is the first time that the person that I actually watched first has been at an event with me, so it's a bit awkward. Um, I first heard about Minecraft, luckily he's not on the stage. Um, I first heard about Minecraft and I wanted to learn a bit more about the game, so I just typed it in on YouTube. And the first, type, first video that popped up was Martin Littlewood's uh, first ever video that turned into Kingdom of the Saplings. Um, so yeah, Martin and the other Yogg's cast members, but mainly Martin were the first people I watched when Minecraft sort of first became popular on YouTube. We won't tell him that because we'll no, tell him yet. Yeah. Do you know mine? What's the most hysterical video you've ever made? And mine's similar to, to the Team Tom where you're recording something and you just can't stop laughing. I had a, a video that I did with Solidarity. We were doing a, a map, an adventure map called Diversity, Diversity 2. And there was loads of different elements, survival, adventure and all different things. Um, and one of those sections was parkour. And there was a parkour section. It was nothing to do with the parkour, but we were talking about... It was something to do with... Um, Stephen Hawking, the famous scientist, the British scientist in the wheelchair, and I, uh, I couldn't remember his name, and I asked Jimmy what he was called, and Jimmy came back with uh, Professor X as the answer. Now, I don't know how he came back with Professor X as the answer, but it just caught me off guard, and I was crying with laughter, and it was about a quarter of an hour where we're just laughing, 
and nothing happened on screen at all. But for me, those moments make the videos good. I think even though nothing was happening, just because we were laughing, I think the crowd and the people watching actually enjoyed it with us. So I think that was quite a good, good video for me. I quite enjoyed that one. What's your favourite Minecraft mini game? Sky Wars. Um, I've been always played Sky Wars ever since it's come out and on various different servers and I'm bringing it out onto my server soon so I'm working hard on that. Um, so yeah, Sky Wars is my favourite mini game by a mile. I love that. nearly over, just done my signing, got a little bit more to do, but we're going to wrap up the vlog here, hope you enjoyed, keep looking on the channel for more vlogs coming very soon, but my invention next weekend, hopefully, I'll be doing a vlog there as well, for now, I'll see you later.